Okay, here is the deal with Focus Graphite. The company has the full rights to two graphite properties, Lek Knife and Lek Tetepiska. I am butchering this pronunciation, which are two of the largest graphite deposits in North America. And actually quite like this flex. Focus potentially holds sufficient flag graphite resources to meet current United States graphite demand for the next 50 plus years. So surely that makes Focus Graphite an amazing investment, right? Right? Well, let's find out together. Welcome to the fifth episode in my series, Graphite Stocks, where I hope to one day have analyzed every single graphite stock on the stock market. Today's topic is Focus Graphite or these ticker symbols. Let's start off with a company overview. So Focus Graphite does have access to two different graphite deposits. Number one, Lack Knife. This is the resource that Focus Graphite is most likely developing on the short term. And number two, Lack Tetepiska. Tetepiska. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this one is most likely a bit further out production wise. Noteworthy, Focus Graphite is a startup. It is not a graphite producing company yet. And to be honest, the company isn't really close to producing either. Okay, but then, how far along is Focus Graphite between just having the rights to some dirt versus producing a metric bleep ton of black gold? Well, for the first property, the Knifey Boy, the company did prepare a feasibility study back in 2014, and it seemed to be quite favorable. And in 2021, Focus commissioned DRA Americas to update that feasibility study Bad Boy, which we are expecting in early 2023. By the way, that feasibility study is for a 45,000 ton graphite concentrate output, which should be grading at 96.6% .6 purity for all size fractions. Important note regarding graphite sizing shizzle for traditional graphite applications how larger flake cars matters a lot the bigger the better and the bigger the more expensive your flakes are for electric vehicles and batteries we do not really give a single damn about graphite flake sizing it all needs to be pulverized and micronized anyways quick sidestep but really that's all there is to lack knife at this moment in time and remember this is the graphite project that is the closest to completion for focus graphite but even for this one construction starting before the end of this year 2023 seems to be very unlikely maybe the company might be able to start constructing a mine in 2024 or 2025 time will tell time for the second graphite property the one i cannot for the life of me pronounce this one is actually quite juicy since it seems to be a massive resource at about a total graphite content of 8 million tons at a purity of about 10 percent this resource seems to be the second largest graphite deposit in quebec just behind Mason Graphite. Of course, I have already analyzed Mason Graphite for the second episode in this series, Graphite Stocks. Perhaps you can check it out after this video is over. Anyways, like Teta whatever is actually pretty darn impressive. It is a humongous deposit, and if developed into an operational mine, it will probably be a very low cost producer. For now though, drilling on this property is still ongoing. You see, the numbers we just discussed for this property were actually only for this part of the property. Drilling is still ongoing here and drilling is still ongoing here. So perhaps this might just become the biggest graphite deposit in the Quebec area maybe even the largest graphite deposit in North America. Again, time will tell, and we will have to be patient and see what those exploration results are going to be. So that is the business. We have two graphite deposits, of which one might be developed into a mine on the medium term. The other property, at best, is a long-term gamble. Although the second one is the most interesting one from an investment perspective, because it is mega pure and and also mega large. I do want to highlight real quickly that both properties are high 
purity. 15% on the knifey boy and the one I cannot pronounce is at 10% plus. That is really impressive compared to some of the competition. Higher purity, assuming all metallurgical factors remain the same, should always result in a lower cost per ton. And a lower cost per ton should result in more profits, which is of course a good thing. Stonks. And that's it really. This company is a long-term gamble. Now let me share my opinions. So here's what I think of Focus Graphite as an investment. Assuming this shares outstanding figure is still correct at 55 million shares, then Focus Graphite is about a 20 to 25 million dollar company which I believe to be an attractive valuation for what it is. And what that is, is a long-term gamble, not really an investment. You are speculating on one binary event. Will Focus Graphite become a profitable graphite producer at some point? If so, your investment can easily 5, 10 or even 25x. All depending on graphite prices, dilution and so many other factors. And if the company isn't able to do so, your investment will most likely go close to zero. Even though it is a gamble, a risky gamble at that, it is still one with really reasonable odds. Allocating a small part of your investment portfolio to a couple of these speculative graphite stocks might be a really fun way to pass some time. And aside from being fun, I do believe it makes significantly more sense than speculating on overvalued growth stocks. The risk of losing your capital might be higher, that is true, but if Focus Graphite succeeds, that will result in a multiple of your investment in profits easily. As a disclaimer, I most likely will not invest in this specific graphite stock on the short term. But I do actually own a very small amount of shares in a very similar speculative investment, Mason Graphite, at about 1% of my net worth. So I do understand the appeal. I just do not think I will personally gamble on this specific bet anytime soon. Now please do suggest your favorite graphite stocks down below in the comment section. Any and all graphite stocks are up for grabs. Now time for a classic YouTuber disclaimer. While I am a registered financial advisor in the Netherlands, I do not have the legal capacity yet to give anyone investment advice. Therefore, this video and any other video on this YouTube channel can never be taken as financial advice. I cannot be held liable for the losses you make while trading according to my opinions. Please do your own due diligence. Now, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.